And today I'm going to detail the gut protective actions of the non-essential amino acid citrulline, bioflavonoid quercetin, and why both should be a daily part of your gut health regimen. Both citrulline and quercetin possess anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and immune-supportive properties. Also, both compounds can combat disruptions in intestinal integrity. Tight junction proteins maintain gut barrier integrity, which also support the functions of epithelial cells in the gut barrier. Leaky gut syndrome, also known as intestinal permeability, happens when the functionality of these ordinarily tight junctions declines, leaving the gut vulnerable to toxic substances and severe chronic inflammation that can contribute to diabetes, obesity, neurological disorders, inflammatory bowel disease, and cancer. Inflammatory bowel disease in particular occurs due to dysregulation in the immune system and microbial dysbiosis. Citrulline is most abundantly found in watermelon, and in fact, citrulline gets its name from the Latin herbal name for watermelon, which is Citrullus lanatus. In the small intestine, citrulline is synthesized from glutamine by enterocytes. These are the cells that form most of the gut's epithelium that so critically facilitates intestinal homeostasis. These enterocytes then release citrulline into the blood, where it's transported to the kidneys for conversion into arginine. Quercetin, one of the most well-known bioflavonoids, is found in many vegetables and fruit like onions and apples, and exhibits antibiotic, antioxidative, anti-inflammatory, and antiviral properties. Quercetin is absorbed primarily in the small intestine and colon, although on its own it's notoriously difficult to absorb a decent amount of quercetin. This is why you'll often see quercetin as a supplement packaged in either a fat base or even as an enzymatically modified form of quercetin because both of these preparations greatly enhance quercetin's absorption and retention. So let's first take a look at how citrulline supports the gut. Citrulline improves gut barrier integrity and the overall performance of tight junction proteins. Citrulline even works in conjunction with the bacterial strain Lactobacillus helveticus, acting as a prebiotic for this beneficial gut bacteria. And here you may wonder how an amino acid, which are the building blocks of protein, can function as a prebiotic, which is usually the domain of dietary fiber. While the primary food source of citrulline, watermelon, contains a negligible amount of protein, watermelon is exceptionally rich in fiber, particularly in the rind and the seeds. And this is precisely why citrulline is actually known as a non-protein amino acid. Citrulline also works with Lactobacillus helveticus to combat the adhesion of pathogenic bacteria. Part of this is also citrulline's increase of secretory immunoglobulin A, which itself protects against the adhesion of pathogens and their penetration into the intestinal barrier. This is why and how regular consumption of watermelon leads to a dramatic decrease over time in problematic bacteria along with a reduction in pro-inflammatory gut metabolites. Quercetin can favorably alter gut microbiota to protect against disease, and there's more than a few ways that quercetin accomplishes this. Quercetin enhances intestinal barrier function by supporting the actions of tight junction proteins like occludin, cloutin-1, and cloutin-4, primarily by inhibiting the metabolic enzyme protein kinase C, which otherwise plays a major role in diabetes-induced atherosclerosis. Quercetin also protects the gut by increasing the length of intestinal villi and improving the thickness of the mucosa, while famously suppressing the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and also the growth of problematic bacteria like Porphyromonas gingivalis and H. pylori. Like citrulline, quercetin also has prebiotic properties, specifically as it increases the abundance of helpful gut bacteria like Firmicutes, Cyanobacteria, and Actinobacteria, and all of these lead to an increase in the critical gut postbiotic butyrate. One area where you can really see the intersection of quercetin and citrulline is in their mutual support of intestinal nitric oxide production. In the gut, nitric oxide regulates gastrointestinal motility and the flow of blood through the mucosa. Citrulline, and especially the arginine that's created from citrulline, is a well-known precursor to nitric oxide production. Excessive nitric oxide can be toxic, however, 
when the nitric oxide reacts with existing oxidants to form the superoxidant peroxynitrite, which itself promotes inflammation, oxidative stress, and increased intestinal permeability. And quercetin, as a powerful antioxidant, can greatly inhibit the development of peroxynitrite. Citrulline is usually available in doses anywhere from 500 milligrams to as much as 5,000 milligrams per serving. And while it is safe for daily use, you do want to try to take your citrulline at least an hour or two away from food. A common dose for quercetin is also around 500 milligrams per serving, and you can even take your quercetin with some zinc carnosine, which is amazingly supportive of gut health on its own. Quercetin is an example of what's known as a zinc ionophore, or a compound that dramatically enhances cellular absorption of zinc, and this includes a gut-specific preparation like zinc carnosine. Beyond the improved absorption, yet another reason to pair zinc with your quercetin and citrulline is that zinc also balances levels of copper in the body. And pertinent to citrulline, this is important because the citrulline you'll find in supplements is often bound to copper. So a daily dose of zinc and or the gut-specific zinc carnosine can help to avoid a copper excess while providing even further support for a thriving intestinal ecosystem. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.